Hello everyone, Total Thomas Man here, and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to build a cute savannah themed starter house. So let's get into it. Step one, we're going to use polished granite to lay out our frame. Well, some of it. I recommend getting a vanilla tweaks texture pack. You can add whatever you want to it, but I recommend getting it especially the one that connects the textures for the polished stones. So now you're going to want to count out one, two, three, four, five. On the fifth one, you're going to want to place another block. Then you're going to want to do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Then one, two, three, four, five. And now you're going to get stripped acacia logs or wood. You can use stripped acacia logs or the wood, and then you're going to, in the spaces between the polished granite, you're going to want to fill it in with those blocks. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove one this side right here, the right side, and cut out the polished granite block that was right there, and then these two. Now you're going to put two logs right here, like so, and you're going to want to go out right there. Same on this side. So now you're going to want to count out four, one, two, three, four, and on the fifth one add another polished granite block, and another one right there. Then you're going to come, gonna, you're gonna want to come over on this side and add in some more logs and you can take out these or you could also do those. That's what I did when I built this in a survival world. But for now we're just going to go with one entrance. Step two, build up the walls. So you're going to want to build up the granite by three, or no, by two, sorry, on the diagonal side. And then when you get to the square part, you're going to want to go up one, two, three, four, five. And that makes it, at, oh, I forgot, seven. You're going to want to go up six blocks where this will be seven. And after that, it should look like this. Now you're going to want to fill in the walls with the stripped acacia logs and bring them up to the same height as the granite, polished granite pillars. Now when you get to right here, where the diagonal part of the build connects to the more rectangular, you're going to want to put a pillar or like, you know, a little beam right there. Then you can build up. Don't go all the way down right here because we'll need that open to get into this part of the house when we're done. Also make sure you leave a spot for your doorway like that. And after you've built up the walls, it should look a little like this. Step three, add the windows. Every good house needs windows. So, on the sides, in the middle between this block and this block, you're going to want to put one, uh, two pieces of glass and do one right here, one right here, and then another two right here. It makes it, this is a very open and bright house in the inside when it's finished. So you want to make sure that you do those windows, but they are optional. You don't have to have the windows. Then you're going to want to come over here and take glass panes and put them right there like so. And put them same on the other side. And then right here, we're just going to do one big window right here. Step four, roof time. So, 
A lot of people think that diagonal roofs are very tricky, but they really aren't. I used to be one of those people. So what you want to do is you want to start right here and just do this like so. Put a slab, a stone block, a stone brick slab right like so, like I'm doing right here. And if you once you've done that layer, you just do it on top like this. And then again, I recommend putting one right there like so. You're going to have to have placeholder blocks for now. And then you'll have to break them. That way you remember which parts are in the roof and which aren't. I had a hard time. I struggled with this, the placeholder blocks when I built this in my survival world. And that led for me having to redo a lot of the roof because I had messed up. So make sure you don't mistake your placeholder blocks for the actual roof. You'll thank me later. And now you do another layer. And you should know what to do by now, so maybe just I'll leave it to you. Okay, last layer. And now you're just going to want to do what we did on the other layers. Go around and you should have a thing in the center like this. And we'll go ahead and fill it in. And then if you want to, you can get a stone brick wall and put it on top like there. And you can stack another one up if you want. But I prefer just to leave it like this, or you could even add another slab in the middle. You can do whatever you want to do. And now it's time to do the um, rectangular section roof. So you're going to want to go and add to your wall like this. Go four, like so, then add two. And then you'll do it again on the other side. Now it's time to add your roof in, and we're going to use stone brick stairs, like we did stone brick slabs on the other one. And now you're just going to want to fill in everything, but I like to do a frame first, that way I remember what I'm supposed to be filling in. And once you have your frame in, your first one anyway, I recommend doing another as it's just easier for me, but you don't have to plan out your roof like I do. It's just what I do and I find it easier. But I do think roofs are the hardest part of building a house. So that's why I do these. Now, once you've got your frame in, make sure you add your overhangs. I usually do it while I'm making the frame, that way I don't forget. But the overhangs are very important. Without them, the house wouldn't look as nice. And now all you have to do is fill in the rest of your roof. And when you're done, it should look something like this. Now you may want to add doors, as most people like to. I recommend using oak doors because I think it suits the house, but you can use acacia or really any door would work. Step three, decorate the interior and the outside. This is how I've done it, but feel free to do it any way you'd like. I've put a little pond with some sugar cane and some wheat and added some shrubbery along the exterior walls. Then inside I've done some armor and some bushy leaves, you know, use the vanilla tweaks, bushy leaves, they're great. And also a red carpet down here. And then when we come in here, we have two ender chests. I guarantee you probably won't have an ender chest if you're just starting your game, but you can put them in there if you have when, when you have them or if you have them. Then we have some barrels and some chests for storage and some furnaces, and I really love this. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you've learned anything or saw this video helpful, please hit that subscribe button. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe if you think if you don't want to watch me anymore. And I'll, I'll be fine with it. I'll, I'll understand. If you want to see the video that I, where I built this starter house, feel free to. It should pop up 
or be up by now. This series is discontinued though. I'm not making currently making episodes, but go ahead and watch it if you'd like. So thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one.